you, you have introduced yourself, you tell us why you're running. Tell us now why you believe that you are, in fact, the best person for this district uh, to represent us in Congress. And I'll start with you, Ambassador Cook. Thank you. I'm the best one because we need to know that for 46 years, one person has represented this district and before that 42 years, you need a fresh voice with fresh vision and new vitality. The energy that we bring to this office, one who has not only local, but also national and international experience. This is the 21st century. You need someone who knows how life looks through a wider prism, who has the relationships not only in Washington Heights, but also in Washington, D.C. Not only in El Barrio, but also the Bronx, and also in Inwood, someone who has the relationships. No matter what happens, no matter who's president, I have those relationships in Washington, and I have worked with Congress. So I know the terrain, I know the colleagues, and I know what needs to be done. Rarely, if there's a woman absent from the table, the issues of women rarely get brought to the table. We need to make sure that women's equality is spoken of, violence against women is spoken of. So I bring the women's issues, I bring a fresh vision, I bring a fresh voice, but most of all, I bring the experience of one who knows how to serve in Congress. All right, Mr. Williams, why are you the best person uh, for this job? I feel like I'm the best person to represent this community because we live in a community that's changing rapidly every single day. A community is much more diverse, and a community has a great deal of challenges. We need to figure out, as I said, how we do something based on education. I know what these issues are like firsthand because I myself had problems in school. When I went to Howard University, I initially didn't get in. I dropped out three times, worked as a waiter, worked as a dishwasher, did everything conceivable until I graduated from college. So these things are real to me. I understand what issues are challenging to people because even when I was a child, I saw my mother struggle. At one point, we lived in a one-bedroom apartment with 10 people. But the most important thing is I have a good understanding of Washington, D.C., but I had a better understanding of this community that I've lived in. I'm a part of that my wife and I are raising our kids in. And as far as the relationships in Washington, if Hillary Clinton becomes president, I actually know her. But even beyond that, Senator Dash, the former Senate Majority Leader, has endorsed me. Bill Richardson, who was head of the Hispanic Caucus on Capitol Hill, and the governor of New Mexico, the energy secretary, has endorsed me. Former White House Chief of Staff, Pete Rouse, has endorsed me. And so these are people who understand government, what it takes to get things done, and will work with me to make certain I'm successful in Washington. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Gallagher, why, why you? I'm going to put it to you this way, which is that you are the people who are going to decide whether I'm the best qualified. But I'm going to tell you the qualities that I have that I believe are useful and going to determine why you want to select me, which is that I know the same issues that we face, which are housing, jobs, health care, education, public safety, the things that I live every day. I live here just like you. I'm not tied to this political system. I know, the, I know you've seen the results, and the results are lacking, and that's why I'm here. I'm here because I'm running to make things happen for all of us that I believe are not being done. I don't believe the solutions that we've been given are working, and I think if you look around, you will feel the same way. I am, I am a very knowledgeable technology person. I believe that technology, privacy rights, encryption, all the things that we're gonna face, including jobs, the transition to the jobs market, which we want is, is needs to be led by somebody who understands technology at a fundamental level which is where I come from. I come from network management, systems management, and private business. I run my own business. I know the, the, the issues that we face, and I think that I can represent this district the best. All right. Assemblyman, why you? Yes. <laughs> we have another assemblyman. Well, he, he's, he's, assemblyman. he's a former assemblyman. <laughs> I, I think what I bring is extensive and diverse uh, experience bringing people together in moments of crisis. Um, as I demonstrated, uh, being a school teacher uh, and, and then a school board member uh, focusing and advocating for education, uh, but also being a member of the New York City Council, uh, standing up uh, against uh, a mayor that was trying to undermine most uh, social services in the city of New York. I did it as a commissioner uh, of immigrant affairs advocating for immigrants, including half a million undocumented. I did it as president of, uh, as chair of President Clinton's Commission on Education nationally um, to address the needs, educational needs of uh, children across this country. I'm doing it now as a member of the assembly. The one thing that I bring is that I know 
that if you have a crisis or if you have a, an issue, you need to bring people together to really resolve it. And I've done that from many places. All right, Mr. Powell, why are you? Why are you the one for this race at this time? I'm the best candidate because of my experience and my commitment. Uh, experience, I have worked with many of you. I have uh, worked with uh, the various neighborhoods in this congressional district. Probably know this congressional district as well as anyone except the incumbent congressman. Uh, you can tell me a block, an intersection in this district, and I can probably tell you some of the things that are there. Commitment, which is extremely important, because experience without commitment means nothing. Power without commitment means nothing. And I've shown throughout my years of public service that I'm committed, committed to the people that I represent, not just to the uh, uh, neighborhood that I'm in or the political club that I belong to. I don't belong to one right now, but the point is that I'm committed to all of the people in this congressional district. And I think that's why I'm the best candidate. I know the issues, the income inequality, the affordable housing problems that we've had, the immigration reform that we need, equal pay as well. And so I believe that's why I'm the best candidate.